So how come after years and years and years of complaining about Subway and ordering sandwiches, do you go to places like Jersey Mike's or whatever and completely do exactly what they do at Subway and not even just let them build you a damn sandwich the way it's meant to be built? They put mayonnaise, if the sandwich has mayonnaise, they put it on the bottom. Why the hell not put it on both sides and then add your cheese and then your meat? Makes complete sense to have lube both on the top and bottom. It's, then, you and then, I'm not done, and then, <laughs> son of a bitch wants to put handfuls and handfuls of lettuce on my That much lettuce and I it's don't, good. I don't want a damn salad in between two pieces of bread. Oh. If I want that I'll go to a restaurant and order a salad. So. It upsets me. You a want layer. lube on both sides of the bread, then you want, want to take this of off. Lettuce. I don't want this. I, don't I want, want to add that. Of want, you go through and say, "Give me some of this. Give me some of that. Do that. I don't want that." It's like it's Subway. You it's, might as well go to Subway and save money because it's cheaper. No. Wolf Tick Nation, thank you guys for tuning in to once again another Wolf Tick video episode. Now, on today's episode, uh, old uh, Wolf Dad finally got some writing in and everybody's how, wildest how dreams Wolf came Dad? true. Well, that's what I call you. Wolf Man over here finally got on the e-bike, the Tenway Seago 600. Yeah. And uh, y'all are fixing to watch the Tenway Seago 600 Wolf Man's real-time review. Duel. Dual fanny packs and everything. Just wait, you guys will see all of it. But before we get to that, we've got a little bit of viewers' rides to get to, and I think this viewers' rides is going to be um, probably the last one until we get winter. Yeah, we're going to take like a break on viewers' rides. It's summer. We're really busy. We're trying to get things done. We're doing a bunch of outside filming. You know, a lot of people. It's funny. Is last summer I remember. People are going, man, when are you going to be back in the shop again? Mm -hmm. And then in the winter, it's like, when are you guys going to get out and ride stuff? Yeah, so now we just And then have... now it's like, it's been like, we've been out riding a lot of stuff, and I'm waiting for people to be like, when are you going to be back in the shop again? Well, yeah. we will in the winter. But... Yeah, we've just got so much more on the trail stuff we want to show you. Yeah, so different segments usually take things. up a certain amount of times, but this will be the last year's rides for a little bit. But I think we've got like four or five rides, so we've got some pretty cool stuff. But uh, let's go ahead and get into the viewers' rides, and then we'll do the uh, real time review on the 10 ways, and then we'll see you guys back yeah, here for the conclusion. We'll figure it out at that. Enjoy. Viewers rides. Also, we got the winners of the ugly bike company. The winner. The winner. All right, ready? And all right, this here is Blair Robinson's 2006 K2 Crush. But don't start getting all over it just yet because this is the before picture. Okay, well, I mean, uh, there, it, it's nice to have some sort of reference. Yeah, I mean, I'm looking nice to have at some it. Sort of reference. It's a little different design than I'm used to seeing on that swing arm there what do they call it? what do they call it in full suspension terms i don't know it's not a swing arm right now he went through and stripped the entire frame okay you can oh, see that there with the head too. and uh he spray canned it rattle canned it now you ready for the after look at that wow. thing he did, did that, a pretty he, damn he, good job huh he did that himself did that himself now something that was pretty cool about it, he's got a dnm rear shock the same exact one we're going to be putting on the xr pro oh it is uh-huh he's got an ax 11 lt Woo! Yeah. Group set, so we know you know he's definitely been watching okay. some Wolf Tick videos, well, and he's got a sorry Jason Jessica headset. There you go. Mm -hmm. He's running two or three rotors, both front and rear, and he did a damn good job on the the paint. Boy Robinson, nice bike. Yes. I love the uh, before and after pictures. Been Thank around you. for a few minutes now. On the yeah, Boy Robinson's been around for a minute, man. But I love the burnt orange color. Very yeah, good. I like, well, I like how he faded it. Really yeah, good. let us know whenever you get your fork since you got your rear shock. If you haven't already, let us know what you plan on doing with your front fork. Now, next picture. Check out homeboy there. Homeboy. This kid's name is Ricky. He's 11 years old. Nice GT. He was all excited for you to take a look at his GT Aggressor Well, I'm going to tell you right now, first of all, smart kid because he actually has a pump. Oh, yeah. 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 Somebody, Very smart, Ricky. Yeah. Somebody can't seem to get through his head that he needs to have a pump on him and not all that other crap because it doesn't does you no good. 11 years old. got the GT Aggressor Pro. Done a few upgrades to it. Said him and his dad watch the channel all the time and some of the inspiration from the channel has uh, transferred over to his well, bike. Well, that's good. I, mm -hmm. I hopefully, uh, hopefully we're not 
a bad influence on them. Yeah, really good looking. The, I like how the bar and the the bars and the pedal seem to match uh, from pictures at least. Yeah, I don't know what kind of but, fork uh, he's rocking up there. If that's like a buckler, like he's, or he's changed out his what, bar stem. Uh, it looks grips. like he's got a box stem up there. Is that what that yeah, is? Yeah, that's a box stem. I, I can that's tell. That's like the one that oil slick one we have, isn't it? No, that's like, like the one I got the GT. No? The blue belt, eleven years old. Glad you're watching. Well, it's a great dad, platform man. for it. It's a yeah. good. That's that's a, that bike will last for many years. Heck You've yeah. abused your and the frame is still perfect. Mm -hmm. um, Ricky, thank you for sending in the pictures, yeah, man. man. Nice and uh, got some stickers sent your way, too. Yeah. Be expecting them in the mail. Next bike. Do you recognize who this homeboy's bike is? This homeboy? Yeah. Come on I, now. I'm going to badmouth this homeboy, first of all. Uh -oh. I can't see me. I can see the shadow better than the bike. <laughs> <laughs> Can I mean, you tell whose it is by the silhouette? By the silhouette. All I was going to say is OG. Uh, I love the sticker on the fork is awesome. OG. And uh, an OG, like yes. like we're talking how long ago? Budget MTB. Oh, Budget underscore, underscore MTB. MTB. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Wow, that that is, yeah. Damn, guys been around OG, a minute. I mean, we're like, since we had like, 100 subscribers. Oh, yeah. Budget a, yeah. Um, M underscore MTB. You've been around for a long time. Thank yeah. you for being such a loyal Wolf Tick Nation guy, man. And uh, mm -hmm. he's also rocking a GT Aggressor Pro, obviously. Yeah. Uh, he's got a 100 millimeter ZTZ fork up front uh, with the uh, chrome stanchions. He's got Tektro brakes. When we got the Tektros put on the Comp Zerker, mm -hmm. he was all about telling me that Tektros are the way to go. Uh, he's mm -hmm. got an IXF crank set. And he knows oh, what group set to I go with. If I would have seen that, I would have known right there. Oh, those little silicone. He's got one left because one of them he <laughs> tore off or something. Uh -huh. If I would have seen that, I would have known. Fooker pedals, I believe, and he knows what group set to go with. I know it's a long shot picture from here. That mm -hmm. is a micro shift acolyte. That's uh, I, I don't. There's not a better group set for the money in my opinion. Man, um, budget MTB, dude, your bike is sweet. I love it. You've very. It's just like our build, and what's funny is you're an OG, so it should be. You know what I mean? I'm definitely taking a little bit of inspiration. Budget MTB, I'm glad we got to get yeah. you in here, man. This is our like number the, four. I like the colors. This is Dave. Keep track. Dave Foley's GT Aggressor Pro. I believe he decaled over his stuff, I want to say. He or is decaled that... over his stuff. Maybe he didn't. Is that a, is that a, I haven't seen that color yet with the GT Aggressor Pro. I, I, I don't think that's original, is it? I, well, he did a really good job of covering everything up. All right, so he's running a wake stem. I like the red uh, stem cap. You know, it kind of breaks it up up there. That's a lot of blue. He's running some Hanson. He's Hansen? got some red spacers too. Yeah, it? he does. Yeah. Some Hanson bars. I don't know if they're like 780s or like what. Like Umbop? They... Yeah, like Umbop. Bucklos, which I really like. That's more of a budget than the IXF. Yeah. Uh, Bucklos, Buck one by crank set with a Decus chain ring on that thing. Yeah. And also, it looks like a basher guard or a chain yeah. guard or chain guide guard, whatever the hell you call that thing. Uh, Something. Yeah. Whatever. Is that a nine inch nail symbol on it? It says Nin. And know. he's rocking two water bottle holders. Oh, he's doing the whole thing. He's two. a thirsty feller. He's <laughs> now, next picture. You ready for this one? This is what something's cool. You'll recognize one of the bikes. Bam! That's old Ben. Oh, old man. Old Ben Foley with his GT okay, Zaster, yeah. the kids viewers rides. Yeah. That's his son. Okay. So, uh, I was like, man, that's awesome. I seen that picture. I was like, hell yeah. yeah. His son sent in the uh, picture for the, um, or his uh, viewers rides for the pedal giveaway. Yeah. Didn't win, but I'm sure it's got some uh, um, Wolf Tick video stickers on there now. And hopefully. Yeah. Ben like the Zasker. And mm -hmm. Dave, thank you so much for sending your pictures in with the GT Aggressor Pro. Let us know, is that um, stock colors, dude, on your bike? Is or? It, you say that's an Aggressor Pro for sure? Yeah, that's an Aggressor Pro. Okay. I'm telling you. Okay. Look at that monster bike. That's a month. I would like to ride that. Yeah, that it is something, man. It looks like you could go and start running over some. It stuff looks like you sure. go over logs with it. <laughs> Has that look? That's to a it. 2013 mm -hmm. GT Sensor. That's a sweet looking bike, man. Well, it's funny we're talking about all that stuff in it. Is that a 26 inch? Yeah, 26 inch. I was going to say, we're, looking at, we're talking about how big it looks and everything, but it mm -hmm. looks like a 26 inch. 26 inch carbon wheels. Very meaty. Choice. Yeah, 35 cool. millimeter carbon bars on it. And something that's pretty crazy on this guy's bike. What if um, the SRAM brakes? Let me say, you're either a SRAM or Shimano guy. Yeah, you're either, but a lot of people like, don't like Tektro, you know? Um, well, uh, yeah, Tektro's kind of A lot of people swear by this by the SRAM, as they say. SRAM? You know? But SRAM is how they say it. Oh, SRAM? Yeah. Uh, one thing I'm wondering, those forks that he's got, I'm about to tell you what they are. I've seen these all over the place. I don't know how much they are. I know the ones I've seen are expensive, but those are 26 inch Marzocchi, Marzocchi bomber. Marzocchi? Something. 150 millimeters of travel, what, 35 millimeter 
stanchions. So you're right. I'm burping. Thirty-five 30 millimeter five. stanchions. I mean, I thought thirty-four was big. Thirty-five. Thirty-five. And man. what's the travel? Uh, 150 millimeters wow. of travel. I was going to say, it looks like there's a lot of travel. I'm sure they soak up some stuff. Oh, wow. But that's a little side-by-side. -side. That's his older um, Gary Fisher frame, I guess. Or his Gary Fisher one. Those are kind of popular. Mm -hmm. I love his bike, man. That thing looks nasty. You mm -hmm. know? like it's, it's In a good way? In a good way. Yeah. Very good, nasty-looking bike. I would love to ride it. Now, this is the viewer's ride that won the Ugly Bike competition. Number four, John Clamalt. Jesus, uh, that Clemont. is Clemol. That Clemont. is the ugliest damn bike I have ever seen. As soon as you sent this uh, bike in, I was like, that's the winner. That was the first entry we I, had for it. Winner. Yeah, I, I have to say, it was definitely, we had, yes, we felt the same way. Although, mm -hmm. I will say, damn boys made a hell of a hey, surge. Yeah, there. you made hell of a surge. Uh, you were, you know, some votes short yeah. of homeboys here, uh, deservingly so, because that is. That's but your bad. damn rad rat, damn boys, that thing was hideous. Yeah, but this, this thing right here out hideous yeah, it. Out, out, it out. Yeah, John Clemalt, congratulations for Clemont. having the Clemalt. Congratulations for having the ugliest bike. Thank you for sending in the pictures. Please let us know in the comments. Uh, email us. Let us know your mailing man. We'd love to give you a little sticker package. Everybody, thank you guys for sending the viewers' rides pictures. Now, um, everybody's favorite segment. Do uh, you want to go ahead and get into the 10 Ways Real-Time Review? I think we should get into it. Well, I mean, I didn't do a, my first real-time review for nothing. We're going to do the 10 Ways Real-Time Review. He's going to do it. Yeah. And then uh, we'll see you guys back Tried for the conclusion. Tried to do some of it, but he was not having it. I was it. against it. So the 10-way Seago 600. I am definitely not a in-shape uh, young person. So this will fit right in for those who are looking for something for a little bit of boost to their ego, I guess, to see if they can ride a bike still and keep up with youngins. I haven't turned on the assist yet. Now I'm going up a hill. I wanted to see, I wanted to get a feel for it before there's any kind of help at all, just to have a comparison. And I mean, you know, with being a, a single speed, I figured it'd be a little harder to go up the hills than it is, but really, I mean, that wasn't too bad. And that's no assist yet. It's definitely not like a mountain bike where you got your ultra low gearing. All right, we got a longer, a longer gradual hill here. I'm gonna now try the first setting. Oh, wow. Okay, I see now. I see the I see all the all the hype, if you will. It does make it. I mean, I'm pedaling probably about the about half as hard as I was before I turned it on, and I'm only on the first setting. Now I don't know if the settings, the first, second, and third, have to do with the. Um, I'm not sure if they have to. Jeremiah seems to think that they have to do with the speed in which they assist you to. I don't know. I don't know if, they, if it's just the speed or if it's, uh, if it's like the amount it helps. I guess we'll find out. All I know is going up that hill, and that was a long, steady incline, and going up the hill was pretty easy. I mean, I haven't been on a, a road bike, and I haven't been on any kind of road bike in so many years, but it feels, I mean, as far as as far as that goes it feels really good really really solid it has a great solid feel to it i'm going to try this second setting and i'm going to try from a stop so what if you have to start from the bot like right now i'm at the bottom of the hill it's already getting going pretty good i'm going to get the pedal in position i'm going to jump on and try this give it a pedal oh yeah it you know what's nice is it's a smooth engagement it's not a, it's not, it's not a, like, I don't know what other e-bikes are like because I haven't rode other e-bikes, but like, I know they advertise a clutched smooth delivery and they're not kidding. That second power setting, I definitely have to say, Jeremiah would be incorrect if he thinks it's only to do with the top speed because 
I definitely felt a difference. It did, like right now even, I'll stop pedaling, I start pedaling. Again, the engagement very smooth, extremely smooth the way it just starts. But I feel more help than I did in the first setting. So it's definitely, it definitely has something to do with that as well. And then uh, we're gonna get to a, another hill here and I'm gonna try the third setting and see what it does. All right, third setting. Okay, yeah, we're going up a long hill and uh, oh yeah, oh yeah, car's coming. I have to get on a little bit. See how it goes, third setting up, up a, the steepest hill today so far. Okay, I've got to give a little, a little bit of pedal. I'm having to give it a little bit of pedal. Oh, that's getting, I've got to give it. Okay, that's where the, the only 250 watt I think is coming in because this part right here is pretty steep and I didn't have a lot of momentum. And I did have to give it a decent amount of torque on my own to get up it. Still wasn't bad, but it definitely, definitely felt it. This would be definitely, I guess it's aimed at commuters. People are gonna use this to, to commute to work or, or you know, wherever. And I, I would say, yeah, I mean, the, the lack of maintenance you would have to do because of the the drive system with the uh, the belt and the one ge one you know single speed I love it I love the simplicity it looks awesome it's so reassuring I mean you know you get belts on your vehicle that last a hundred thousand miles so you know I mean I have no I have no uh, nothing but high expectations that this is going to hold up for many years. All right, let's go ahead and ditch Jeremiah real quick. Let's go ahead and ditch him and we'll get this thing, we'll get this party started. He just absolutely took off. I mean, he's a ways up there. Pretty impressive on that e-bike. I mean, this is something that he was wondering or wanting as far as something that we can ride together. Not necessarily just road because, you know, we're mainly a mountain bike channel. Well, that's what we do. But uh, he's like, man, I'd really like to ride with you. I know the Wolf Tick Nation wants to ride uh, us to, to ride together. And with his heart condition, it's just a little difficult for him to jump on the bike and climb up a mountain. But with this e-bike being the way that it is and him just ditching me and his heart rate still staying good, that's impressive. I mean, that's nice from a standpoint of somebody that uh, is fit enough and healthy enough to be able to ride um, without any kind of assistance to be able to ride with their dad, you know, where they're their parent so that's pretty cool but um big difference so far i mean he is gone he's gone all right so uh, you guys just got done seeing the ride on the 10 ways um i think you did a pretty good job of explaining stuff well thank you um i know when it's, it's not not my forte no not your forte i think you did a pretty good job and um also I think you took off like a bat out of hell when you decided to ditch me. You were right. like, I I'm out of here, poof, yeah. and you were gone. So it was, was like, needed. And times. that was legit. You were like gone. Yeah. But anyway, uh, so we, you said you wanted to talk about the likes and dislikes or pros and cons yeah, I mean, of the 10 ways. I, I think I think, I think it's more likes and dislikes. This bike, we took it to the RV park. Um, we had some buddies come down. We did some riding. And what was really cool I enjoyed about the 10 ways bike is my number one like on this bike is the size of it. It's I'm 5'5", five five, another guy was about 5'5", five five, guy about 5'7", you rode it and you're 6'4". It seems, I don't know how you felt on the frame then itself. There was a couple other people that rode it that yeah. were smaller. Nobody has ever complained bigger. about the bike going, oh my gosh, this bike seems too big, it seems too small. It yeah. kind of seems, seems to really to fit, fit. Yeah, that's a lot point. of people yeah. and that's my favorite thing about the bike. I could just jump right on it and everybody else in our little Well, you have to could. adjust the seat down yeah, a little bit if it, I've been riding it. it. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But other than that, I mean, it was just, it was really good sized uh, bike. My likes are the looks, first of all, the look of the bike. I think it looks really good. Yeah. Uh, I I mean, I think I think most e-bikes are kind of atrocious looking. I don't like they the way most of them story. look. They're, they're, I guess I just haven't got used to them. I shouldn't say that. I just haven't got used to them. They usually have a big gaudy battery and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. I know that's the majority of them, and, and some people are okay with that. This one does not. Most people that see it don't know it's an e-bike. Everybody that sees it doesn't think it's an e-bike. Yeah, they're like, really? The charge time. I love the charge time. It it's advertised as two and a half hours. I think. I think it. We didn't put it on a timer. I'm almost positive it was around two, a little over two hours charge time. A little time. over two hours? Maybe. It was yeah, around it was two quick. hours. 
Uh, and that was from, you know, from whatever. So, I mean, that wasn't like almost fully charged already. That was like a 20 something percent. Something. Uh, the bike is a quality feel. Like the bike, when you handle it, you look at the bike, you touch it, it feels like a quality bike. We handle a lot of bikes. And I can tell you that it's one of the better feeling bikes I've ever handled. It does feel solid. It has a good solid. Yeah, it feel just to it, it feels good. Mm -hmm. The brakes, I think the brakes are really good. The, yeah, I mean, that was those are I didn't, I didn't mention. Really, those are hydraulic brakes. I went down a, a couple pretty steep hills that we didn't record. One we went to Walmart last night, and I went down one that was rather steep. And I mean, I felt confident. The brakes worked great. Yeah. And I, I just think the brakes are really good. I love that it's, there's no need to own a phone. You don't have to have a phone to, to, I mean, you can operate this without any kind of devices. You can jump on it and use it. You don't have to own a, a smartphone to do it or an yeah, iPhone. Yeah, that was my big that. thing with it. Yeah, that, that's a big one for us. The single speed belt drive system on it is not only looks cool, it gets a lot of attention. It doesn't, it doesn't only look cool, it's, it functions great. Uh, it, it, I, just the idea of not having to maintenance it and not having to adjust anything it's been so far I mean we haven't had to do anything on it so the, here's my dislikes the finish of the fork there's no clear there's no like matte clear over they're matted and it almost has that oxidized paint look and texture to it where you can rub your finger on it and yeah. you will leave whatever grease and whatever grime is on your finger visible starting on a hill I'm to say 290 I had to stop at one point for something on a sharp incline mm -hmm. i got on there i didn't have any speed going into it i'm starting from a dead stop and it did struggle a little bit to push yeah. me up the that hill that was when you had it in the third setting yeah. on the third yeah. highest pedal assist, and it almost is the felt like hill. it was overloaded a little bit uh -huh. is what yeah. it felt you like could i could hear could you i could hear it in the and i could feel the yeah. vibration a little bit the rear tire clearance I would love to eventually, I might want to put a 40, these are 38, right? Mm -hmm. I want to put maybe a 40 gravel tire and maybe take it on some light trails. I'm holding my breath on that back one fitting a 40 yeah. because the Little clearance tight. is really tight. The front I'm fine on, the front should be fine. Yeah. But I'm looking forward to trying some, don't know yet, just the tire clearance scares me on the rear. The handlebar is slightly narrow for me. Now I have wide shoulders, right? Yeah, I have you can massively see the footage wide that shoulders. You were, you know, yeah, the handlebars are a little narrow. I would love those to me. be, I would love those to be at least 20 millimeter wider. Um, for me, at least. They're a little too narrow for my use. I would like a little wider handlebar. And back to the one by system on it as much as i like it i like the simplicity and the lack of uh, maintenance the one thing about the one by system that does kind of bother me is the fact that it's geared a little high so if you don't have the bike go on and assisting you or or you're taking off on a hill from a dead stop okay you... it's geared a little high you don't it's hard to get going it was fun okay. we enjoyed it and and i would love to uh i'd love i, I know we don't want to be an e-bike channel and people are worried about that yeah but i will say this after trying that i would love to ride another e-bike or two just to just to compare it to something because yeah. that's the first time i rode one and i love it and i and i'm telling you right now the e-bike thing it's it's a game changer i think me not keeping up with you anymore isn't the issue now it's a matter if i get on it enough and you have to work on keeping yeah, up with me so that's, that's which really is nice. a nice feeling yeah. Mm -hmm. and uh yeah so i don't know that's yeah. that's the way i the way i see it the way i feel about it and that's my review and hopefully y'all got something from that and you can make a decision i don't know when they're uh, they've gone on sale yet do we know I, no i don't we don't, I don't know for so. sure we just know it's going to be priced between a thousand fifteen hundred and they go on sale yep. sometime in the next couple of weeks but, uh, definitely all you commuters out there or people that want to uh, maybe you're a little bit older and uh, you're a little out of shape but uh, you want something to ride around with maybe some of your family that 10 ways uh, seago 600 man that is an awesome bike uh, I'm gonna put some. I'm putting gravel tires on. I'm gonna take it on some light trails. We're gonna see how it does yeah, on that. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a really fun uh, just thing to mess around with. And uh, ten ways. Thank you guys for sending us the e-bike. Yes. And everybody thank out you. there, uh, man, thank you guys for watching the initial impressions video and then uh, now the initial review. You know, real time review. No real time review. Um, yeah, yeah I, I think it was great. If you guys uh, want to uh, help support the channel a little bit, you can go down to the affiliate links below and maybe check out some of those. Or you can even check out that link below uh, that's gonna buy us a cup of coffee. Uh, you know, help this channel with some content and creating some stuff for you guys to keep on enjoying but all you viewers out there thank you guys for saying your, your viewers rides but guys we will see you on the next one. Oh, next video is going to be thursday instead of friday oh thank you yeah. yes next thursday will be uploaded at 11 o'clock uh no it's going to be at an eight o'clock eight o'clock all right 
Thursday, 8 o'clock. Don't miss it. We'll see you for the, uh, I think, our final Fork Friday for the uh, Sun Tour Real Time On Thursday review. morning. On, yeah, on Thursday morning. We'll see you guys then.